Hi, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio. In my last video, I talked about average loudness and how to use Audacity software to set your audio to a target average loudness. And I showed you how to do that for LUFS, which is sort of the industry standard in the audio world for average loudness, and also something called RMS, which is kind of an older way to do it, and that stands for root mean square. And the only reason you'd need to know about that is if you're doing audiobooks for ACX, which is Audible's audiobook marketplace. So like I said, I showed you how to do all this in Audacity in the last video, which is linked in the description below. And today I'm going to show you how to do it in Reaper. Here's the same file that we've been working with. So when you're ready, you just go to File, and it's Render in Reaper. Give it a name and a place to save to. Then go to this button here that says Normalize Limit. And we're going to normalize this to a LUFS level of negative 16. Notice that this says LUFS-I. That stands for LUFS integrated, and that means the LUFS level for the whole file. That's usually what LUFS means when you just see LUFS, so that is the one we want. Also, we want to brick wall limit this to a true peak of negative two decibels. So once you've got that filled in, just click the close button and you'll see that it says normalize limit on. It's gonna set it to negative 16 and negative two. So when you're ready, remember set this to stereo just as a matter of course and click render one file. Now one cool thing in Reaper is that when it's done, it will give you the stats so you don't have to go to that loudness.info site. So let's look at what it says. The LUFS level is negative 16.1, right on, good. And the true peak is negative two. So that is super easy to do in Reaper. Now for audiobooks, you're going to go to file and render again and use the same tool here, normalize limit, but we're gonna set this not to LUFS, but to RMS. And because they want their RMS to be between negative 23 and negative 18 dB, we're going to set this to negative 20. And they want their peaks to be no louder than negative three, so we put negative three in there. And we can leave this at mono if we want to, since it is a mono file, there's no need for stereo. And for audiobooks, that's usually what we're dealing with. But either way is fine. Anyway, click on render one file. And let's see what we have. RMS, negative 20. So that is obviously between negative 23 and negative 18. And our true peak is negative 3. So we know that that would pass the ACX check. And that's how you save files to a specific loudness in Reaper.